All right, welcome everyone to Let's Play Arcade Mixer. You know, someone reached out to me on uh, to me on Twitter to uh, try this game out, and it looks like it's pretty much just a collection of arcade games, I guess. Like, very, like really classic kind of stuff. Like you have Pong and Frogger and Pac-Man and all kinds of interesting kind of games. So. Okay, go to the spa uh, open space to quit. So it's kind of like you know, it's going to an old classic arcade cabinet. So all right. So I'm not sure. So let's insert coin. Let's try this first one. What's in this first one here? Okay. Controls. Start is space. Rotate is A and D. Okay. Do, how do I fire? How do I shoot? Pause the escape, rotate, move bar. Uh, maybe space? Oh, okay. So it's like Blockbuster with asteroids. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's go. And I just fail at it. Okay. Hold on. Wow, I'm just horrible at this game. Is it trying to do two things at once? Okay, oh, oh. Oh, good now. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Try again. Yeah, let's try playing again now that I actually now understand what's going on here. That was kind of cool, actually. All right, play again. Let's see. I mean, it's very complex. It's like you're, you're controlling the angle of fire. Oh, come on. Ah! Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Rotate. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't die. Uh, yes. Double shot. Oh, hello. Uh. So it's kind of like playing the game Asteroid. Back to single shot. That was horrible. Why would I get that? No. Get the P. I missed the P. No. But I'm still alive. I'm doing much better now. I've only died once. Okay, rotate, rotate it. Yep, just stay up there. Keep bouncing around, it's fine. Double shot now. Alright. Yeah, get the double shot. Yep, stay up there, it's fine. Whoa, hello. Rotate ya. There we go. So you're shooting asteroids now. This is really cool. Like, it, I like the you know the whole shooting, rotating mechanic, as well as the having to bounce it back up. Oh wow, stage two. All right, all right. Okay, I'm not shooting. Why am I not shooting? Okay, so I can't win. I'm not shooting. Nothing is happening. I, I can't destroy any asteroids because it's not shooting now. It's the game is broken. I broke the game. Okay, hold on. Bam. Oh, now you're shooting. I. What? What the heck? Why weren't you shooting before? But I had to die to actually. Oh well, that's a bit of a glitch right there. I think I found a glitch in the game. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. Like, I don't know if this was an actual arcade game or just a strange take on an arcade game, but. 
Whoa! What the? I just like shot myself really fast up and down. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna quit that one. That was that was a pretty good game. That's pretty cool. Let's try the next one here. All right. So the lobby. I said lobby. I said lobby. Okay. Okay, on to the next game, which apparently this is Asteroids. I'm guessing that's what it was. So, this is Arkanoid. The original Asteroid was... That's not what it was, so let's try that. What's this one? Tetris. Oh, can I choose what game I play? Hold on. Oh, it combines Arkanoid and Tetris. It's basically... Oh, I see. So it's uh, Arkanoid and Asteroids. That's... Because I can speak today. I can speak today. Because this combines Space Invaders with Tetris. Oh, this is cool. So it takes two uh, arcade ideas and combines them. Frogger and Pong. <laughs> that sounds horrible, actually. And then... Credits, okay. Got it, okay. So let's go, uh, what is Tetris plus Space Invaders? What do we get with that? Do I want to know? Insert coin. Okay. Uh, we just gotta shoot blocks that come down. Okay, so. Arrows to move and space to shoot is probably my simplest way to go. So. I'll resume, okay. Hold on. Oh, I had to add to spam and I it move oh it moves <laughs> oh they move like Tetris blocks okay well that's kind of right I kind of it's kind of cool that's all right did it like just shoot snot at me so that looked like it was like some green gooey snot. Okay, come on, what are you doing? Okay. There we go. Like if they don't hit me though, then am I safe? If I just, they just get past me and then they don't hit me, is it cool? So basically I'm shooting Tetris blocks. Okay. You yeah, know, I see. Or maybe I'm supposed to let him fall. No, okay, I see. I see. So basically, it's like it's shooting Tetris, Tetris blocks, like it's Space Invaders. Okay, let's try it again. And actually, now that I know everything that's going to happen, endless mode. Oh, that would be that take forever. It'd be endless. Okay. No, I won't get the green. No. I, I don't know what the green goo does. It could be good, it could be bad, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of neat. What would happen if you were to combine the concepts of... Oh, stop. Okay. There we go. We'll get you. Yeah, okay, what happens if we get the green goo? Let's see. Ooh, fire rate up. Oh! I definitely want to get the green goo then. So collect green goo that falls from the Tetris pieces. I thought they were like attacking me as a last ditch effort. Destroy me, I'll shoot green goo at you. Could have been, who knows, let's see. All right, oh, hello. Well, that's cool. Well, they're going a bit faster now too, I think. Is 
It'd be really, really cool if I could just hold down the space and hold down the fire button and have it rapid fire. Oh, come on. They are getting faster. Uh, that's, that's that and I'm going. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That's, that's cool. Okay. I'll take it. So let's go to the next game here. What's the next game that we have? Lovely. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's Arkanoid and Asteroids. Space Invaders and Tetris combined. What do we have here? Snake and Pac-Man. Now Snake, I believe, is a game where you actually have a control of a snake and eating stuff. And Pac-Man is where you're, you know, controlling a little guy who eats stuff. But with Snake, your snake grows every time you eat things. So let's see what kind of madness awaits us. Ah, uh, okay. It's like Pac-Man, but you grow, I guess. Alright, let's see what happens. There you go. Oh, so, okay. It's like a tighter version of Snake. Can you eat the ghosts? And the snake's made of Pac-Man. Oh, it's just blue or a speed up. Oh, I hit too soon. Ah uh, ha ha ha. Uh, okay, check that again. Our right, Pac Man Snake. Play this one handed. Come on, you go faster. Oh, he's slow. Then you don't want it to be too fast. Oh, I could just. Oh, nuts, I did it again. You know, I could see this getting really bad. Okay, let's get, get the speed up here. Oh, that's, that was a little too fast. That was a little too fast. Okay, play again, sorry. Anyway. But I was saying before, I could see this getting like really tricky. Like, especially those like areas up, the, up here. Yeah, right up here, I could easily see, I'm gonna avoid the blue for now. Yeah, I can see you, like, getting caught up and potentially running into yourself and dying. Because in Snake, that's how you die, is you can run into the walls or yourself. There we go, we're getting... All the way up. I haven't seen any ghosts yet. And do the ghosts move is the question. Alright, up here. We'll go around. Yeah, this dot. Yeah, and Snake, I think you're eating apples because snakes eat apples for some reason. Alright. Oh, now I got speed ups. Okay, hold on. Oh, if you get a blue dot, a, s a ghost appears. Oh, and I ran into the wall. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. I tell ya. Alright. So, what game should we play next? Let's see. Go to lobby. Now, that is kind of cool. Okay, so Pong and Frogger. That just sounds... Like an animal rights violation. Like PETA is gonna get involved in this here. Alright. Oh, I see. Well, I'm only m me, so this requires two people. You know, that's still, I'd say that's probably a complaint about this would be I wish there was an option to have like a. PC player, like a AI player or something like that, but, okay, but, hold on, bam, 
Oh, oh, it lights up. Oh. So there's no question as to who hit it last and who would score the point. But right now, it just looks like Pong with a Frogger background. Like, there's not much else Frogger element to it. Yeah. Ah, it's really moving slow. This is the time limit here. Come on, eventually get there. You can do it. Right. Wow, this is just this is just evolving into a. Uh... Wow, it's wasting time now. Values two at the top, so that was a neutral ball. Okay. Yeah. So we got a thousand points on that. Huh. That went fast. Because we're low on time. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. There's no way to catch the ball, too, and reshoot it, so you should just paddle it back and forth. Oh, I missed it. Wait. Huh! I hit it and went past mine, and I went past the yellow, and it lost points. That's kind of cool. So this would be really cool as just a two-player game, but not really as uh, everyone playing here. So let's go back to lobby. Alright. Credits. Let's see. Credits. Created by Ruben Jimenez Colas. Amazing help. Okay, friend. Deverins, Irene. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. So there's other people who went into... You know, made the hard work making this game, his friends, his family for making it possible. I honestly the game looks pretty good. I have to say, it looks pretty good. But yeah, it's really cool. A lot of work went into this and it, it definitely definitely shows. And it's the age old question of what happens if you take these two classic arcade games and combine them together. But no seriously though, good job on making this. This is an amazing game. Um I could see this really being like a paid download. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily pay a lot for it, but I would definitely pay money for this the way it's been done. Um, it's kind of a cool time waste or something to have on your on the machine, so I might pay like five, ten bucks for it a piece. So this would be something cool to like have on Steam that you could buy. But yeah, great game. Good job making this game. Uh, it's on. Uh, I think it's on Itchio, I believe is where the link was. So if you want to download it, if you want to play it, it's fun, it's kind of cool. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can click on it. Uh, I, may, I, probably, I might leave a link in the video, if possibly too, I don't know. But I'll, I, there'll be a link, a link where you can download it for yourself and play it for yourself. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for being subscribed if you are, and you know if not, feel free to subscribe if you like this video. And you know, we'll see you in the next video.